Welcome back to School of Sense. Welcome your host, Omar. Hey guys, it looks like this year we're gonna have a white Valentine's. Wait, that sounds kind of wrong. As someone who's single, I ask you guys on Instagram to provide me your number one date night fragrance with proven success so that the whole community has a better idea of what will work this Valentine's Day. There were around a hundred submissions. I went through them and I picked out the ones that constantly reappeared as well as fragrances that I actually own so I can review it in this video. And even then, I'm still gonna show you some flankers of these fragrances, guys, as I still don't own the originals yet. Pick one of these fragrances for success this Valentine's Day. Let's get into it. Class is in session. At number 10, we have Emporio Armani's Stronger With You. Pretend you don't see the word freeze here. We are referring to the original Stronger With You, which I did used to own actually, but I gave it away. I think it's a fragrance that is great for beginners. It's a good first sweet fragrance. It's very well blended, so smoothly blended actually, that no one ingredient particularly stands out. You get a sort of fresh syrupy vibe from it with a hint of chestnut in the base there. So it's kind of a warm, smoky, slightly fresh syrupy scent. Overall, it can be described as beautiful. I see it as a romantic scent. Although the performance is 12 hours longevity with loud projection, meaning you could use this for clubbing as well, but to me, the scent smells more romantic than it does fun and playful. I think if you're a beginner, you'll rate stronger with you higher, but for me, I personally give it a seven out of 10. Moving on to number nine, we have Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky. If I remember correctly, this is a fragrance with fresh notes, plum, hazelnut, and honey. If that sounds quite unique and sexy to you, that's because I would say this fragrance is. In my opinion, this is the best one million out of the flankers. I prefer this over Privé and the original. I would definitely see this as a date night fragrance. It has a close projection and longevity of around six hours is what I'm getting. For me, I really like this fragrance. I just wish the performance was a bit better. I wish it projected louder. I give this an eight out of 10. At number eight, we've already reached the big leagues. We're doing Chanel Allure Homme Sport OX Dren. Now again, similarly to Stronger With You, I find that this fragrance has excellent perfumery. It's a very smooth blend. In my opinion, too smooth. And that's my problem with it. It smells like a powdery, elegant, combination of mint, sandalwood, and tonka bean, meaning this has a balance of fresh and sweet. Overall, this is considered a signature fragrance. You'd wear it for something versatile, but I do think the sweetness here makes this a good option for date nights. I'm getting eight hours longevity with a moderate projection. It is likely to get you compliments in general, although it never has for me, but still good value for money. I give this an eight out of 10. At number seven, we have a joint entry with Versace Eros and Eros Flame. If you know Eros, it's a popular fragrance at this point that is fun and playful. In my opinion, both versions of Eros are good. They smell similar. They're both big vanilla fragrances with a fun and playful attitude to them. Go for the original if you want a cool mint and apple opening or go for Flame if you want a fresh spicy citrus opening. For me, Flame performs slightly better than the original by a few hours, but but neither of these are slouches in that department. I think if you're a beginner, you're gonna love Eros, but for me, the DNA isn't particularly complex, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 for both of these combined. Again, number six, several submissions for all of these. I've got the whole squad with me. Le Mal, Le Mal Le Parfum, and Ultra Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I mean, now look at the bottle design, guys. This entire line is designed for sex appeal. To keep it simple, if you want full raw sex appeal with a slightly old school vibe, go for the original Le Mal. If you want a super sweet, fun, playful vibe, go for Ultra Mal. This is unisex in my opinion, but the most romantic and elegant of these three would be Le Mal Le Parfum. I've reviewed all three of these on our Instagram. I recommend you check it out. But overall, I'd give this line an eight out of 10. The number five entry, I just knew this was gonna be on the list at some point. I think this definitely got the most submissions from you guys. This is Dolce & Gabbana's The One Eau de Parfum. I've described this fragrance so many times. You can see the full review on our Instagram or our website. But basically, it's an extremely safe fragrance and no one will ever hate with limited performance of five hours and a soft projection, making this specialized for date nights. It's romantic, it's masculine, it's sexy. It's the most recurring submission for a reason 
reason, if you want that first date night fragrance, you can't really go wrong with this. Excellent perfumery with limited performance. I give it an eight and a half. Number four, I'm very glad this is on the list. Rasasi Hawas. I've talked about this fragrance on this channel before. I always say this is Paco Rabanne Invictus on steroids. Much louder, longer lasting, and Invictus doesn't even perform badly itself. This has that same mass appealing sweet bubblegum DNA with some aquatics, with a slight exotic Middle Eastern vibe. One of my biggest compliment getters, if you're gonna use this on a date, make sure you go easy on the trigger, no more than two sprays, I would say. It is definitely on the synthetic side though, so I'll give it an eight and a half as well. Number three, one of my favorite Tom Fords, Noir Extreme. One of my favorite fragrances from the house and one of my favorite gourmand fragrances in general. A gourmand fragrance means that it smells edible. I'll put a picture of the Indian dessert Kulfi on the screen. That's the note that this fragrance has. It's what makes it unique, it makes it stand out. It smells sexy, sweet, floral, spicy, inviting. It has eight hours longevity with a soft projection. Just the scent profile and that performance means that it's definitely suited to date nights. I think it's definitely worth the money. I give this a nine out of 10. Number two from the little known house of Dior, Dior Homme Intense. Pretend the word parfum isn't there. I mean, this fragrance is a beast in itself also, but Dior Homme Intense, I've worn it about five or six times. So from my limited wearings, I can tell you that it is an iris-based fragrance, like all the Dior Homme line, which is a note that's floral, that has a powdery effect. To put it simply, Dior Homme Intense smells like a luxurious, powdery chocolate fragrance. It is a legendary fragrance, one of the best in the designer game in general. And from what I've read online, the new bottle from 2020 is similar to the old bottles. From my limited experience, I would give Dior Homme Intense a nine out of 10. And number one, I fully expected this to be on here. It is Parfum de Marley's Leighton. If you ever insist on blind buying a niche fragrance, I think Leighton should definitely be on the top of your list. I always describe Leighton, first of all, as a masterpiece, but I also describe it as a dichotomy. It has one half of it, which is very powdery fresh, and then the other half is sweet apple pie, meaning that this is ideally somebody's signature, it's versatile, the only time of the year you shouldn't wear this is in the high heat, but it performs excellently, it's mass appealing, it's a lot of compliments, it's sexy. Because of its sweetness, its warmth, and how inviting this is, it's perfect for dates as well. It's one of my few fragrances that I own in general that I would give a perfect score to. I give this a 10 out of 10. And that concludes the list, guys. Do you think I should keep doing these videos where I share with you the community's number one picks? Let me know in the comments down below, or I can just go back to the usual old school where I give you my choices only. Check out our video where we rate the top Creed fragrances. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Class dismissed.